What was that again? It was the worst carpet cleaning you ever had? Wow. Well, you know, I'm sorry to hear that. You know, like I told you, I've been in this industry for 19 years. And there's a lot of us, you know, that do our best to make sure the customers are happy. But most of the time when you go with these name brand companies, it's not usually based on quality. It's, it's based on quantity. Because I know some of those guys that work for some of those companies. And, man, these guys are telling me they're doing like six, seven jobs a day. I'm like, how in the world are you doing six, seven jobs a day? And, and, and I know how, but my thing is um, it lets me know they're not doing it right. I can I can do I can barely do for it. I mean, three jobs a day for me, because you know taking my time setting up, doing the little things that you already told me about, um, plus doing a good job. You know, treating the carpets, taking your time cleaning the carpets. Um, you know, again, relating and talking to the client. A lot of it, you know, it's time consuming. Um, so it just lets me know when you know when these companies, you know, doing six seven jobs a day. It just lets me know they're just in and out. Yeah. Yep. So, and, you know, and, and again, you know, the, 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 the sad part is, though, um, you know, this is the sad part is that they don't realize they got you that one time. But again, you'll never use them again. No. And, and, and that's the thing that a lot of people in business have to understand as me, you know, just for myself as, as, as a business owner, my job is to keep you as a customer. Yeah. You know, um, not to get in here and try to see how fast I can do the job and how much money I can get in one time. Because I used to work for a lot of those companies, and a lot of those companies have real bad sales tactics. What they teach us is to get into the house and sell as much as possible. So a lot of times when you're dealing with home service um, companies, you're not dealing with technicians. You're dealing with salespeople. Yeah. They just want to get in there and sell this and sell that, sell, sell, sell. And what I've learned over the years yeah, you might walk in. You might walk out the house with six, seven, eight hundred dollars. Feel good about yourself, but guess what? You probably lost thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars over the years from that customer. Not only that, will probably use you two to four times a year. Because my average client, like your your daughter Stacy, she uses me about three times a year. You know, and also the referrals. You came from Stacy. See what I'm saying? So, so those companies that try to get those quick sales, they just don't realize that they're, they're really shooting themselves in the foot because now that customer is not going to use you anymore, which means they're not, not, not only you're not going to work for them anymore, but you're also, they're not going to refer their friends and family. Yep. So that's it. That's it. All right, guys, I was just talking to my client, just telling me. The last company she used, she had bad experience. She was not happy. Her daughter referred me. And I'm over here taking care of her cleaning needs. I really feel like not only as any business, but especially a small business, guys, you want to keep your back door closed as much as possible. Which means when customers come in the front door, you do not want them going out the back going somewhere else. Today I had three jobs. One job was a new client and the other two jobs were referrals. That tells me a lot about my business. I have a good reputation in my community. People like my services. They like me. And that allows me to build a good quality company for my community. Take care of your customers, and your customers will take care of you. It's so hard for a lot of people to believe that, but I, I never forget. I never forget when I first got in business, when I first started my business, 
I had a customer named Mr. Ken. Him and his son ran a small two, it was son and dad operation uh, out in Kennesaw, Georgia. And I remember I first met him and they used to always be so busy. And I said, Mr. Ken, what do you do for marketing? And he said, Courtney, I don't market. You know, me being a new homeowner, I'm, like, I'm not a new home, I'm a new business owner. I'm like, you don't market? And this is what he told me, I never forget. And this was 12 years ago. He said, Courtney, let me tell you something. If you treat your customers right and you do good work, there will become a day you will never have to worry about customers. And that's why they always say, word of mouth is the best marketing. Yeah. And, I would, and, and that was so true. And, and I will say to this day, he was 100%. Take care of your customers, do good work. They'll never call no one else. Yep. All right, guys, go ahead and finish up here. These carpets are coming out great. Take care of your customers. And I will say this too, if your prices do not give you the time to take your time or you have to rush a job, you can't focus on customer service, Maybe you need to start marketing to a different kind of customer and maybe raise your prices. Because that's another reason why a lot of people rush. They're not making profit. They're not making enough money on each job. So they have to do so many jobs to make up. But again, you find yourself rushing. And no matter what people pay, everybody still wants good service. So that's why you should charge accordingly anyway. I have never heard anybody, no matter what prices I charge, say, oh, your prices are cheaper than the other guys, so I know you're gonna do a half, a half job. No, I don't care if they're paying $250 or $100, they still expect a good job. So that's why you should make sure you charge enough where your business can run or you're making profit. And again, guys, you're not killing yourself. You're not killing your company. All right, guys, let me finish up here. See you in the next one.